have your full forecast later in our show. National events dominate the top of our news tonight as the Republican National Convention got underway today and former President Donald Trump made known his decision as to who will be his new running mate. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance is now the vice presidential pick for the Republican ticket. Meanwhile, in both Washington and Pennsylvania, the aftermath of the assassination attempt on Trump's life remains under investigation. The Washington Post is reporting that the AR-15 style rifle used in the attempt on Trump was purchased over a decade ago. Elected leaders from both parties in New York State have condemned the attack on the life of Donald Trump. Capitol Bureau correspondent Jamie DeLine has spoken with some and has this report. Following the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump, New York elected officials are sharing a similar message. It was a disgusting, cowardly act. Political violence has no place in, in America. The harshness, the rhetoric that has developed uh, needs to be toned down. We don't settle elections through violence. Uh, we do so through votes. The overarching theme, despite differing political opinions, violence is never the answer. When it comes to safety, Governor Hochul says New York State is monitoring social media for threats of retaliation. The New York State Police Counterintelligence Unit is conducting outreach to local law enforcement to check for suspicious activity. State police personnel on the Joint Terrorism Task Force are coordinating with federal law enforcement and partner agencies. Hochul says high-profile locations such as government buildings will also be monitored and have increased patrols. Republican Congressman Nick Langworthy tells me he'll be attending the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. I asked if he was concerned about security. Now, there's probably no safer place in America this week than Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you know, there are sec secure perimeters. Uh, both pedestrian and, and vehicle perimeters that are established and uh, credentials are necessary and magnetometers are very plentiful. I asked Congressman Paul Tonko if there are any extra security measures the U.S. Capitol is taking. We'll be dealing with the uh, Secret Service this week in light of the events and they uh, will alert my colleagues and myself as to uh, various hint the tips that they can offer. Congressman Mark Molinaro says the chair of the Homeland Security Committee will be meeting with the head of the Secret Service about the assassination attempt. With the expectation that the uh, Committee on Homeland Security and the Committee on Oversight in the House will begin a thorough investigation beginning next week. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Rome police are continuing to investigate a shooting.